In this problem, I know the cosine of A, and I know A is in quadrant 2. I know the tangent of B, and I know B is in quadrant 3. And we need to find the exact value. Notice the word exact value of the cosine of 2B without using a calculator. So that means I'm going to have to use a double angle formula. So the cosine of 2B, this is the one that has three different versions. I could use cosine squared B minus sine squared B. I could use 2 cosine squared B minus 1. Or I could use 1 minus 2 sine squared B. They will each give me the same answer. Now, I'm given the tangent of B, so it really doesn't matter which one of these I'm going to use. I think it might be easier to use the second or the third version, so I think I'm just going to pick the second version. So that means I need to find the cosine of B to be able to use this formula. Now, if we were given the sine of B up here, then I would use this formula. If we were given the cosine of B here, I would use this one, but with, since we're given the tangent of B, it doesn't make any difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at angle B. We know B is in quadrant 3. So here's my angle B. And before I do anything else, I want to look at the picture. I'm going out in the negative x direction and down in the negative y direction. So I know x had better be a negative number. y had also better be a negative number. And remember, r is always going to be positive. Well, we were told that the tangent of angle B was equal to 15 over 8. And remember, what is that in terms of x, y, and r? It is y over x. So what we're tempted to do at this point is let y equal 15 and x equal, equal 8. But notice we already know both of them need to be negative. So we're going to let y equal negative 15 and x equal negative 8. And now we know x and we know y. We're going to find r by using the Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Negative 8 squared plus negative 15 squared equals r squared. So 64 plus 225 is r squared. 64 and 225 is 289. And remember, r is always positive, so it's the positive square root of 289, which is 17. So now, the reason I did this was so I could find the cosine of b. So looking at this picture, the cosine of b is x over r. So the cosine of b is going to equal x, remember, is negative 8, and we just found r was 17. And so now I know this, I can plug it into this formula here. So I know the cosine of 2b is 2 times cosine squared b minus 1. So that's going to be 2 over 1 times the cosine of b is negative 8 over 17, so I'm going to have to square it, minus 1. So it's going to be 2 over 1, negative 8 squared is positive 64, 17 squared is 289 minus 1. So this is going to give me 2 times 64 is 128 over 289. Because remember, I just multiplied 2 times 64 and 1 times 289 minus 1. Had you add fractions, you get a common denominator. What's the common denominator? 289 
So I'm going to have to multiply 1 by 289 over 289. So I'm going to get 128 minus 289 over 289. And that is equal to negative 1, whoops, 161 over 289. So that is the exact value of the cosine of 2b. One thing you could do to check to see if this is a reasonable answer here, remember the sine and the cosine of any angle has to lie between negative 1 and positive 1. If you put this number here in your calculator, you're going to get negative 0 point something. So does this number lie between negative 1 and positive 1? Yes, so that's a nice little check you can do at the end.